real cases before a real judge. And now, enter the courtroom of Judge Mathis. Plaintiff Christopher Gunderson says he was engaged to the defendant until she told him that she married another man who happened to be her cousin. Christopher is suing his ex-fiance for the cost of an engagement ring. Defendant Renee Dumbleton says Christopher is nothing but an angry, jealous person who has been stalking her and her daughter for over two years. Renee's countersuing for unpaid rent. Start with you. Well, I was engaged to Renee to be married until she called me and told me she married another man who was her cousin. So. That's not true, Your Honor. Run that by me again. <laughs> did she, she broke up with me and then she When did you all become engaged? Let's start there. Got engaged in June of 2010. All right, and when were you to marry? We hadn't set a date yet at that okay. time. Okay, maybe that's why she called you. <laughs> but no, this isn't funny. When did she call you with this news that she was marrying her cousin instead? Well, it was in, I believe it was in May. That's not true, Your Honor. Were you well, all living together? Or? I had lived together with her for a while and then moved out in February. Why did you move out? Well, because we had a lot of problems. We, I was living in an apartment with her. I had never So why did you stay engaged if you were having a lot of that problems and true, you had to move out? Because she stole my heart and I was madly in love with her. That's why. <laughs> that is and not I true, still Your Honor. Her. Oh, my goodness. And not I true, still do. Your Honor. And then just out of the blue... She called me and, well, no, she told me that uh, she had got contacted by an old flame on Facebook. Old flame? An old flame, a boyfriend that she lived with 28 years a ago. A boyfriend from the past. Right. Who turned out to be her cousin. That's what she told me, yes, sir. That is not true. She had enough. nerve to tell you that? <laughs> you she sure did. you didn't hear it in the street? You no, didn't hear that in the street? She did tell me that, Your Honor. And I have a lot of texts and stuff that, uh, say that she was married to him if you'd like to see the text messaging that I got. Let's see it. <laughs> Ma'am, let me hear your side before we get into the engagement ring he's suing you for. What do you First want of all, Your Honor, this man is nothing but a stalker and an angry, jealous person. He's been stalking me for the last two and a half years and my daughter, following us around, scaring us. Um, I met him in 2010. We, he proposed in June. He moved in before that. About a week and a half later, he came to my job and he took the ring. Okay. What did he tell you the reason he came to you? He thought I was seeing someone else. Okay. Cheating on him with someone else. All he right. came to my job, took the ring, caused a major scene, went back to my apartment, called the cops. I ended up calling my son to come be with my daughter that was there because I was afraid he was going to hurt her while he moved all of his stuff out. I had to go home. Um, even then, the police told me that the ring was... Mine, not his. About, I don't know, six, seven months later, we started talking again. Thought I'd be, you know, smart, maybe, and let see if the relationship would work out. I was kind of dumb. A year later, I let him move back in after I had him sign an agreement that he would be responsible for half of the bills. You have that? Yes, I do. Let me Very see that. Right there. <clears throat> he then, back in November, of 2011, accompanied me up to the pawn shop, though, Let's to, go to May when he says he got that call. I didn't call him. He had been in, in contact with me. Um, I had told him that I had um, hooked up with an a old flame of mine that came back to see if we could bring Where did he get this cousin stuff up, from? Up again. Um, I'm not really sure where he got it, Your Honor. I didn't say that. He might I mean, to each his own, but is the guy your cousin or no, not? No, he's not. No, Your Honor, he is not. Okay. No, no, no. No, not at all. <laughs> so tell me about the ring, sir. When did you uh, request your ring back and what occurred? Since well, then? I gave her that ring in contemplation of marriage, okay? I understand. Then I understand. she tells me she married another man, so I felt I was entitled okay. to have the ring back. And when did you she ask her? She had the ring in, pawn, in the pawn shop. She Who had did? pawned the ring. Okay. When and you came to true. ask for the ring back, she said, I pawned it? I Well, pawned I knew it. she had pawned the ring. That's I was even true. making the payments on the ring uh -huh. in the pawn shop. That's not true. Okay, and what was the agreement then? Did she say, I'm keeping the pawn slip and you're never going to see it again? Or, uh, no. okay, here's the pawn slip. What was the final resolution? 
she wanted money from me. She said if I gave her a thousand dollars that everything would be fine. So I offered her a thousand dollars. We went up to the pawn shop. I offered to pay to get the ring out and pay her a thousand dollars over and above that. Well, at that time, I only had $600 cash on me that day, so I had a notarized binding piece of paper stating that I would give the remaining $400 the following day to her. That is not true. And her husband, cousin, whatever, didn't agree to that and pulled her out of there. <laughs> said, you ain't doing it. And that was that. And then, <laughs> Do you have uh, the notarized statement you're referring to? The notarized document where you talked about you would pay $400 later. No, I never did even do it because they wouldn't do it, so I didn't have gotcha. to give it to okay. her. Gotcha, okay, they no. wouldn't sign on to it. I did not. All right, and the ring is now in the pawn shop, to your knowledge? Yeah, you'll have to ask her that. It was in her name, so they wouldn't even talk to, to me To your about knowledge, it. yeah. Ma'am, what happened to the ring? The pawn shop kept it mm -hmm. because he stopped making payments on it. Uh, he accompany, accompanied me to the pawn shop when I pawned it because we had to pawn it because we had no rent money. When was that? Um, back in November of 11. I have the pawn ticket right here. I have please. both of them actually. Never had and then money. we went back in May and we repawned it again in May. Is his name on here anywhere? You keep no, saying sir. we. He was with me at the time. It is in my he name was because with it you. was my Hold lady. on, ma'am. When did you uh, get with your current husband? I'm not married, Your Honor. Or your current boyfriend? In the so called the guy he refers to as your cousin. <laughs> we he came back here in May engaged to Renee to be married until she called me and told me she married another man who is her cousin. That's not true, Your Honor. Run that by me again. <laughs> Defendant Renee Dumbleton is being sued by her ex-fiance, who claims Renee left him to marry her cousin. Let's get to your counterclaim of unpaid rent, $2,910. Well, Your Honor, he lived with me um, previously in 2010 for almost a year. Didn't pay any of the bills, didn't help me out at, at all whatsoever. So this second time when I he moved back in, Quiet. I made sure that he signed an agreement stating that he was going to be responsible half the rent for half of the rent so that I could actually be okay. I ended up quitting a job, losing my job, losing almost everything I had. I lost my home. I just was evicted last week because I couldn't pay the rent because Chris couldn't pay his half of the bills. Okay. Sir, do you have any proof regarding the rent that she's referring to? Well, I know that I paid on that ring and I paid her money every single week out of my paycheck for uh, rent. You know, she only made $8 an hour up until May when she was fired for theft or whatever, and I, I make a lot more money than that, so I well, paid most of the money. You know, I was Were you fired to help for stealing? I wasn't fired for stealing. Were you fired for? I wasn't fired. You quit? She was fired from her I job quit. for theft, and she's been tanked in court she stole to his court heart. for it, too. See, you are a thief. You stole his heart. You're right. <laughs> I, I did. That I did do. Well, what, what did you leave your job for? Um, I was going to be moving to New York. That's why. Oh, okay. That's why. You have any evidence regarding this rent issue? I have all my rent receipts and well, how much Chris lie. owes on, on Let me what? see what he owes. Do you have something that says what he owes? I do. And you were paying her cash or something? Or? I paid her cash every single week I gave For the her rent. Money. She didn't never have any money. I paid her money all the time. He did give me $1,500, and I gave him a receipt for that. I gave her $300 three days before I gave her the $1,500, and she didn't write that on the receipt either. So I actually gave her $1,800 cash around the June 4th. When did you move out, sir? February of, of this year. When February did he move 12th out? And of so this year. You're suing him up through September? Right, because that's so? the, the extent of the lease. Okay. Did you know you have a legal obligation to try and find a replacement roommate? I do, have and you? I did try. How? I tried on Craigslist, <clears throat> okay. and I just worried So you about don't have a roommate? I stay right. with my son right now. All right. I have two pieces of evidence. One, well, you say he only owes you $800. Yet you tell me today that he owes you $2,900. $800 from a text message? Is that what that's from? No, 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 no. With your signature on it, take a good look. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Not that. a text message. You recognize that? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's start with the next lie. Uh, yeah. No, that, Who is Jeff? He's the man I'm involved with. Okay, it says Jeff Sorry? and I are already married. 
We are not married. What else did you put on the text message? You did it. Ma'am, you have perjured yourself. I'm going to dismiss your claim for perjury. You've told me $2,910 when, in fact, on this contract, you said he only owed you $800. Then you say you've never been married, and indeed, on that text message, you tell him that you are married to Jeff. And then thirdly, with regard to these pawn slips, they're in your name, so you had an obligation to get them out of pawn. As he said, engagement rings are based on a condition of marriage. It's a conditional gift. And if that condition is not met, then the gift must be returned. That was a gift in contemplation of Your marriage. Honor. Exactly. Your Honor. Marriage didn't occur. Your Honor. Have a good day. No more lies. <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you very much, sir. There you go, liar. Lie some more, Renee. And tell me you never lie. I'm the liar, huh? I want you to stay out of my life and leave me the hell alone. I'll stay out of your life, and I am Good. not a stalker, and thanks yes, for telling you everybody that. And you sure no, lie an awful sure lot. Are, it's all about money, Renee. You know That's what? all it ever was. I loved and you, you know with what? all my You're heart, and what did you do to me? Thanks, so, Renee. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life with your cousin. I will. It's not my cousin. <laughs> I wonder how kissing cousins are. At least she'll are. enjoy her life with somebody. <laughs> At least, you know what? I'll be happy you won't. Yeah. Good luck no. with that.